Tower 7 Kilo Echo. Making a quick turn here. I'm not making full power. 7 Kilo Echo, Roger. Hello, and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Um, so you just saw me uh, talking to the Orm Beach Tower and declaring uh, an emergency for not making full engine power. So let me kind of set the stage for how we got here. Um, this morning, my mission was to uh, do some touch and goes in the pattern, uh, working on some landing proficiency. I just want to get out and uh, stay active and stay proficient. And uh, so before this takeoff, before this climb out, um, I had already completed two landings. So I had gone around the pattern once, uh, landed once with a full stop, did a full stop taxi back, uh, took back off again. This next time, this next pass, uh, did a touch and go. Uh, and on this touch and go, I uh, was climbing out and... Uh, in the video here, you can see my eyes starting to kind of dart back and forth and up and down towards the engine monitoring. Um, what I was feeling was that the airplane wasn't making full power, but I wasn't getting a clear indication that I was having a major failure. Um, so on these first couple of climb outs, as you can see here, this little dash shot, you can see that we were making about 2450 RPMs. Uh, kind of on climb out on average, and we're climbing somewhere between, I don't know, 700 and 1,000 feet per minute. So uh, climbing really well. And uh, on the takeoff or on the climb out that I was experiencing the issue, I, uh, I had felt that the airplane just wasn't climbing as well. And when I looked down, I realized that um, I was at 73 knots, which was VY. And uh, normally at 73 knots at this power setting, um, I would be, my climb rate would be pretty fantastic first thing in the morning. Um, and so I'm at VY and I'm barely making uh, 500 feet per minute. And I look down and we're under 2400 RPM. So we're 20, 2360, 2370. Uh, but the airplane won't get up to 2400. Uh, so uh, before I had started to make this turn, I actually pitched down a little bit, sacrificed some of my climb, uh, got the 400 feet per minute and started um, building up a little bit more airspeed. So I was trading some lift for airspeed, uh, just keep the airplane flying. And uh, that's when I called the tower and said, hey, I'm gonna be making this uh, slow left-hand turn in the pattern, turning early. Um, to start my crosswind so that I can make my way back. I'm gonna land one seven. Um, I'm gonna continue to nine. I think I can make a semi-normal approach here. Seven kilo echo runway nine. Clear for the option. Clear for the option runway nine. Uh, it'll be a full stop this time. Roger. So here, the tower is now asking me if I would prefer runway 17 um, to runway 9. So in the video, I'm looking at 17 in front of me, and I'm realizing that I've kept this pattern really, really tight, and uh, so that I could I'm within gliding distance of anywhere on the on the uh, surface here. And uh, I look down at 17, and it would put me on a really high and really tight uh, left base to 17. Uh, so I opted to just continue. I'm, the airplane's still running. Uh, it's still running okay. It's not misfiring. It's not vibrating to death. It was, just wasn't making full power. So since I'm still climbing and I'm still able to kind of get up to pattern altitude, I choose to make a normal or as normal pattern as I can to runway 9. So um, kept it in nice and tight and made a normal approach beginning uh, a beam my touch on point. Nice and tight. R1-193 with you for r final. Please 193 I'm going to tell Roger, continue. Continue, r
at 3. Okay, I got the field made. Got the entire runway to work with here. So now the field's made, um, turning final, and things are looking okay. And engine's still running okay, it's just not making full power. Uh, I'm high, so I decide that it's time to slip the airplane. So 30 degrees of flaps, decide I'm gonna slip a little bit uh, to lose some of this altitude. And uh, I was able to slip it in and make a nice normal landing um, and roll out with uh, no incident. Uh, I cannot thank uh, my CFIs enough for my primary training and instrument training. They're both phenomenal. And uh, they both instilled in me that I should be ready for an emergency at any time and that uh, I need to know how to do a short approach, um, even though it's in the commercial standards that every pilot needs to be able to do a spot landing and put the airplane down uh, without power if they have to. And in this case, um, I practice short approach uh, virtually every time I'm in the pattern. If uh, the pattern traffic will allow and the tower can accommodate it, I try to work a short approach in. Um, and in this case, I had just done some short approaches a couple of weeks ago and um, felt pretty confident in my ability to make a spot land. In this case, it worked out pretty great. That's, um... That's affirmative. I'm going to go to the ramp. Uh, do you mind if I uh, stop somewhere here just to do a quick run up on my way in, 7 Kilo Echo? Oh, that's fine right there. Okay, I'll stop here and do a quick run up. 737 Kilo Echo. Thanks for tuning into the video. Uh, we're currently going through the process of troubleshooting to figure out uh, what's going on with the airplane and what might be uh, happening to cause this reduction in power. Uh, if you haven't liked this video yet, please do. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps us a lot. If you're an experienced pilot or an AMP and you have an opinion on what you think might be going on with the airplane, please leave your comments below. And uh, I look forward to reading those and seeing what you think is happening. And uh, in our future video, I will uh, address what we did to troubleshoot it. And hopefully I'll have a cause and uh, be able to share that with you as well. So thanks so much for watching.